have to make very, very specific forecasts, and that can be very challenging. Robert Rickey is a meteorologist with the National Weather Service in Flagstaff. He works in that office every day until his help is needed along the fire lines. You really have to be ready on a moment's notice. Um, I always have my bags packed. IMETs all across the country are called if a wildfire is either growing in size or close to homes and structures. They typically work 16 hour days and are on site for two weeks. In the morning, I'll see the crews before they go out for the day. I'm going to give them a brief on what the weather is, give them a, an idea of what the forecast is for the following days as well. Ricky says having an IMET on the ground means they can better understand what fire crews are up against. It gives me opportunity to go to the field. So I'll go to the field. I can see the terrain and I can see the fire activity, and that helps me to make a very, very tailored forecast to the fire itself. Larry Van Bussum is with the National Weather Service in Boise, where they manage the IMET program. We put them through 225 hours of uh, specialized fire weather training on uh, how to predict fire weather, uh, fire behavior. He says there are no IMETs on fires in Arizona right now, but there is one Arizona IMET currently assisting with a fire in New Mexico. Occasionally we're so busy that we'll actually deploy folks from Hawaii to fight uh, wildfires on the west coast of the United States. Last year, IMETs were called out to fires including the Grapevine Fire near Prescott Valley and the Diamond Fire in North Scottsdale. Both fires forced people to evacuate. Ricky says it's an important job that comes with its challenges. Challenges. It's an amount of baggage that you know, incident meteorologists or pretty much anybody that works well and uh, fire is going to carry with them that baggage of, of knowing that you know they are dealing with um, fire and fire can uh, have a significant uh, toll on on human beings' lives. Now, similar to hotshot crews out on these fires, these IMETs will sleep in tents or in the bed of their trucks because they're in such rural areas that hotel rooms are just not an option. They also work alongside air tankers to help them uh, plan out when they want to drop that retardant for when the best visibility will be regarding any smoke or cloud coverage in the area. Live in Phoenix tonight, I'm Holly Bach for Arizona's Family. All right.